Today we're going to talk about magnetic brakes. Our braking system incorporates eddy current technology. This is a very powerful rare earth magnet. This magnet pulls about 1,200 pounds if, if you were to stick it on a piece of steel. This is aluminum. Aluminum is a conductor. As we move a very powerful magnetic field through the aluminum, it excites the electrons. And the resistance is what we call eddy current. As I pass the magnet over the aluminum, you can see it actually moving without contacting. It's like pulling your hand through the water. You create resistance. The same thing's happening here as we pull the very powerful magnetic field through the electrons in the aluminum and causing resistance. The faster you move the magnet, the more resistance you create. Here on the North American Eagle, we have 27 of these rare earth magnets configured into a caliper on the back axle. This caliper moves on three hydraulic cylinders to come into close proximity to the aluminum rotor. The rotor moves with the wheel. This magnetic braking system accounts for about 50% of the braking system on the car. The car also incorporates the original speed brakes, which were part of the F-104 chassis, and parachutes to slow the car down in a reasonable amount of real estate so we can turn around and set the new land speed record. The North American Eagle incorporates all aluminum wheels. We use aluminum wheels because you can't run rubber over 400 miles an hour. It'll just come apart. These wheels were specially designed to go about 900 miles an hour to give us a little bit of a degree of safety so that when we go 800 miles an hour, we know the design is good. These wheels are only designed to operate on dirt. We would never run them on pavement or concrete. On our last run, we did about 400 miles an hour. And when we slowed the car down, using magnetic brakes only, we were able to stop within about a mile and a half. The rotor temperature, stopping this 13,000 pound car at 400 miles an hour, only reached 625 degrees. If you were to use conventional friction braking, you would burn the brakes right off the vehicle.